Welcome back to Numismatic Chalk. Um, just wanted to make a quick video um, of an example of an article I think um, an intermediate coin collector should be very, very much aware of and should be warned about. Um, nothing particularly against this author or even this website. I love Coin Week and their videos. Uh, I find a lot of their stuff informative and very entertaining. Unfortunately, this article here, Silver 101 Scrounging and Scuffling, by uh, Al Doyle from, uh, from the Coin Week uh, website. Um, uh, to summarize what he's saying, basically he's saying so there's some sort of physical shortage of silver, and that's why you can't get it for more or less spot price. Um, and it just really, really irks me. Um, it really motivates me to post up more videos on my uh, channel. Um, I think something much simpler is going on. His argument is something like, I'm trying to get to the paragraph where it's just, I, I think the most misleading. Uh, I believe this is the fifth or sixth paragraph here. Too many people are have been conditioned to look at spot as some kind of mandatory, uh, all, reliable, all reliable guide to precious metal prices. Spot can be an indicator starting point. But the more speculators play games with gold and silver they, they don't have, the less relevant spot becomes. Buyers need to consider the cost of unobtainium. Let me repeat that word, unobtainium. Silver is not un unobtainium. Neither is gold. The stuff's out there. It's just what the dealers are willing to give it to you for. Let me repeat that. It's what the dealers are willing to give it to you for at. At what price? Uh, right now, dealers have panicked. It's kind of like a bank run. It's actually a metals run. Uh, metals took a massive hit. Gold, silver, even platinum, palladium. And dealers have panicked. They've bought this stuff, uh, especially silver, between 35 to 50 bucks a, uh, an ounce. And uh, now that the stuff is no longer hot, they just don't want to take a loss. And my guess is if you guys wait out about a month before you buy any, any coins and or bullion, because the two are connected, they're not always competing, um, I would stay clear from buying any more coins. And uh, by God, this is probably the most misleading, euphemistic, uh, phew, uh, euphemistic uh, article. I mean... I guess this is for collectors to read and gobble up, and there's just zero zero truth to it. I, I, there must be a term for it. When you've bought something for too much, and you don't want to sell it once it's crashed, and you're hoarding it, you're, you're warehousing it until the price comes up again, there must be like a macroeconomic term for this or something. Uh, yeah, so anyone out there, you guys are buying coins or whatever, if... Uh, and actually, from personal experience, I went to a small New York coin shop, not terribly reputable. I really tried to feel this guy and talk to him politely, looked at some of his uh, lesser coins, and I just tried to feel out a price for buying a few raw peace dollars. And when I suggested somewhere a little bit below 30 bucks, the guy literally slammed his case shut and uh, uh, put, put his uh, stuff away and told me to leave. Um, he was really insulted. Um, but that was the reality at the time. This was two weeks ago. Silver was at about $22.5 an ounce. Right now, silver, according to Coin Week, is about 24 an ounce. If this price stays, give it another two, three weeks. I mean, just imagine, you had a business and you needed to pay bills. How long can you hold off from not working or selling your product? A few weeks, maybe a month, the prices will start coming down. Um, this has been written April 25th. Um, today's May 8th, it, just give it a little more time, guys, um, get this stuff at a good price, don't get shafted, don't, don't follow the lemmings over the cliff, um, yeah, and again, it's, it's articles like these that really make me want to post up more material, um, and just educate people out there to not get burnt, um, all right, guys, stay safe, collect, and have fun. Uh, comments below, please. I will leave a link to this article. Um, again, not a personal attack but to the author, but man, oh, man, this 
this article is just awful. It just assumes collectors don't have any critical thinking skills and just wish, really wish this was written a little bit more truthfully. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.